we're celebrating the opening of Lift, our series, our annual series that features three local artists. And in the gallery, we're um, featuring the opening of Patrick Cruz. He's a Toronto-based artist with a video installation. I was playing around with tree paintings on um, smaller versions in my studio and Suzanne had come for a studio visit and we were talking about how wonderful it would be if we could see them in bigger, um, in a bigger size so that it, we could cover a wall such as the one behind me. Each of us with a different style but both um, you know, reverent of natural landscapes and at the same time celebrating, I, th I think, what we see of ourselves in the landscapes. Basically, it's an opportunity for emerging and local artists, um, established artists as well, but to exhibit in a space like the Laurier Library that's trying to establish itself as a creative hub in Waterloo Region. I'm currently working on a series of paintings for an exhibition called 2020 Sightseeing, based on what I see on my morning walks each morning, and I'm lucky enough that this is part of my tour. When Suzanne visited my studio, she saw the center one, which is based on a winter scene of Alder Creek. And then once we just talked about that particular piece, I went ahead and did fall and spring. For this exhibit, I focused on the, uh, the sumac bushes, which actually are quite strong this time of year. I guess through my years of painting, I've always been um, amazed at um, just the, what we're surrounded by day to day um, in Ontario. The, the light coming through the trees, I've, that's usually been my focus. So for those of you who might be just getting to know us, uh, we're in the process of building out a community platform or hub at the library where students, faculty, and everyone from our extended Laurier family and the broader community can come together through art, music, literature, media, and making. You can do this at exhibits, concerts, readings, art markets, and other events where voices from all backgrounds and all levels of experience can share and earn revenue from their work. At workshops, classes, and hands-on making sessions in which gifted members of our community help others to unlock their own skills and talents. My practice in general is, pretty, is propelled by my experience migrating from the Philippines to Canada. And a lot of the content of the narratives that are embedded in my work is about that experience of um, adapting to a new identity and becoming this hybridized person and kind of understanding the world through that experience. The images are all shot on my cell phone from my travels between Canada and the Philippines and some in Mexico and the States. The images are layered to, to a point where you experience them as you don't know where the location is. So you kind of get displaced where these sequences are happening. And I'm, I see that as a kind of a metaphor of my experience being kind of disoriented. Prior to leaving the Philippines, I, was, I wasn't interested in my own culture or my identity because I was living with it. So as soon as I was divorced from it, that was the only time I appreciated it. So, in a way, it's, it's a blessing and a curse to be removed from it in order to appreciate it, but it, I think it's a powerful thing. 